Hi friends, welcome back to another wonderful day of teaching and learning PFLIX math with Miss McKinley. Today is day eight. Number sense, whole body counting to 10 and back. So guess what friends? We have been practicing counting to 10 and now we're going to back, back, back it up, back, back, back that truck, back, Back, back it up, back, back, back that truck. So we are going to start counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then go all the way from ten, nine, eight, all the way down to zero. So this is so exciting. So count to ten and back using your fingers. All right, follow along. Start with one, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent job. Now let's count to ten and back with shoulder taps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Count to ten and back growing and shrinking like a flower. So ready? Start really small for zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Now we're going to do partner counting. Take turns counting to ten and back. So I'll start with zero. Zero, two, four, six, eight. 10. Great. Now let's start at 10. Let's have you start at 10. 9, 7, 5, 3, 1, 0. Excellent job. Here is our fluency. Use your whiteboard to write how many dots are on the dice. Let's start with this one here. So grab your whiteboards and your markers and let's get this with fluency. Did you show one? Awesome job. Let's count the dots on the dice here. Did you show five? Great job. Let's count the dots here. Did you show three? Let's count the dots here. Did you show three? Hey, those were the same. They were the same numbers and they looked the exact same. <laughs> we tried to trick you, but it didn't work. How many dots are here? Did you show four? Excellent. How many are here? Did you show one? How many are here? Did you show five? And let's count the last dice right there. 
Did you count two? Great job. Today's goal says, I can recognize, write, and count to eight. So today's number is all about number eight. I cannot wait to learn about eight. <laughs> Say, I can recognize, write, and count to eight. So before we jump on to number eight, we are going to review our numbers that we have been learning about the past couple of days. All about number six. So tell me this poem and let's sky write this poem together for this number. Ready? Make a C then in you go. Now you've made a six you know. All about number seven. Ready? Let's sky write. Across the sky and down past Kevin. That's the way. You make a seven. Great job. And today's new number, all about number eight. Let's sky write this number. This number is going to start right here. And this poem goes, make an S and then don't wait. Go back up to make an eight. This one is a little bit tricky, so I might also show you another way to make eight so that you are successful in making eight. Um, and if letter S is something that you are working on or going back up and sneaking your, your number around, then this is an alternative way that you can also make eight. Let's count the fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. What did you notice? You have a whole five and then three more. Let's count and see if that's true. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is true. We have five fingers and three more. Awesome. Let's count the dominoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is the same. We have a group of five and then three more. Use your cubes to represent the number. Write the number on your whiteboard. So friends, you can grab 10 cubes, your whiteboard and your Expo marker. And as you are grabbing your materials, I will turn my camera around. Okay, awesome. So I'll give you a couple of seconds to get your materials together. Okay, great. So let's represent number eight in the same organized way thinking about eight in a 10 frame, because a 10 frame will certainly help our number stay organized. So how many are on the top? <gasps> Holy moly, did somebody say five? You're right. There are one, two, three, four, five on the top, and one, two, three down here. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome job. I love it that you also use your five group on the top and three down below. Now it's our turn to write our number eight. So for number eight, we are going to make an S and then don't wait. Go back up to make an eight. That's right, that one is a little bit tricky pickles. So say that's okay, that's okay. 
I'm going to show you how to do it one more time, and then I'm also going to show you an alternative way to make eight. So let's start by making an S. Ready? Make an S, and then don't we? Go back up to make an eight. Awesome job. Let me show you the other way. Some of my students think of number eight like a snowman, where they put two circles, one for the snowman's body and one for the snowman's head. It's not exactly the way that I showed you with making a letter S, but is it an eight? Yes. So if the other way is two tricky pickles, I don't want you to be frustrated. You can draw two circles just like so. Unfortunately, I don't have a cute little poem <laughs> to show you how to make that. But our cute little poem goes, make an S and then don't we go back up to make an eight. Excellent job, my friends. You can clear your board and you can move your cubes back up to the top. Whoopsie daisies. <laughs> awesome job. I'll turn my camera around. Hi. <laughs> awesome job. Okay, let's see what's on the next page. <gasps> Count on to make eight. Oh my goodness. So mathematicians, you are just chugging along on your journey of just being stronger and more fluent and just knowing your numbers in a snap. So today, our lesson is count on to make five. This says, how many cubes do I have? Help me count on to make eight. So friends, I have given you some cubes right here. But let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five. Wait a minute, number five is not number eight. Some of my cubes are missing. So let's keep counting on to find out how many are missing. So I want you to take sweet number five, which is how many cubes we have. Take five and put five in your brain. Use your other hand to lift up your fingers until we say eight. I'll show you how, because we'll say five, and then we'll say six, and then we'll stop at eight. So do this with me. <laughs> Ready? Say five. Put that in your brain. Six, seven, eight. Excellent job. So we are missing three cubes to make eight. Let's see if that's true. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You said we were missing three cubes to make eight. And look, there are three cubes right there. Awesome job counting on. Let's use our cubes. And first, we're going to make a friendly five group, okay? Oh, this says, Use your cubes to make eight. So maybe you guys do this on your own <laughs> and I'll be quiet and then we can talk about the multiple different ways that you made eight. So I'll wait for you. So go ahead and use your cubes to count eight. If you need a few more moments, pause this video. Okay, friends, I'm going to turn my camera so that you can see different ways to make eight. Okay, so let's count to make eight. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight cubes right there. We've kept them all together in a line right next to each other. Let's count eight in a different way. Maybe you did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you did it this way, you separated your eight by your friendly five group and then three more. 
Awesome. What's another way to make eight? Another way to make eight, we could do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This way, we're using our friendly 10 group to help us stay organized. Awesome. And what's even another way to make eight? We could do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That looks like a group of four here and another group of four there. There are many ways to make eight. Let's go ahead and clear our board. And let's use the counting on method. So what I want you to do is set out five cubes, one right next to the other, just like our, our math model here. One, two, three, four, five. Now some of our cubes are missing here. So as we add cubes, we're going to keep on counting. So we have five, Six, seven, eight. Excellent job. So we had a group of five plus one, two, three more gave us eight. We had five and three made eight. Great job, friends. You can go ahead and clear your board. <laughs> Beautiful job. Hi again. <laughs> so let's see, did we hit our goal for today? Our goal said, I can recognize, write, and count to eight. And we were able to do all of those things. Friends, you had an amazing day of teaching and learning. Thank you so much for joining me for Peak Flicks Map Day 8. Have a beautiful day of teaching and learning. Bye, friends.